Fast, efficient, yep, that's the Jets. The New York, New Haven, and Hartford Railroad's EP5 electric locomotives are some of the most unique locomotives out there. These engines are the poster child of the New Haven Electric Services. This is their story. Built by General Electric in 1955, the EP5 locomotives re resembled the Alco FAs and the Pennsylvania Railroad E2Bs. They were built to haul passenger trains between New York and New Haven on the New Haven's busy electrified mainline. In total, 10 were produced, with all 10 having the Pennsylvania Railroad style cab signals required to operate into New York Penn Station. They were also the first AC electric passenger locomotives to use rectifiers. Now you're probably wondering what the hell that means. Well, rectifiers allow these units to convert from overhead electric wires to third rail electricity. This is because the EP5s also ran into the Grand Central Terminal, and the New York Central Railroad, which owned the station, used third rail. Throughout their career, they operated on several high-end New Haven passenger trains, although in later careers did pull mail. They're known as the Jets because their engines made a roaring sound which came from their main blowers. Despite having an excellent accelerating speed, they overheated frequently due to their poor ventilation because they had to be smaller and lighter due to Park Avenue viaduct restrictions. Alright, now for some technical specs, so stick with me here. They were 68 feet long, around 10 feet wide, around 14 feet tall. They had all these electric systems that I'm not going to say. They had six GE Model 752 traction motors, and they had a maximum speed of 90 miles per hour, a power output of 4,000 horsepower, which is 2.98 megawatts. The tractive effort was a continuous 34,000 pounds, or 15,422 kilograms. Their overheating problems were only made worse by the New Haven's upper management, who didn't want to spend the necessary money for repairs, as they preferred their new dual-mode FL9s. In 1961, the New Haven Railroad finally entered bankruptcy after years of poor finances. In the following year, all 10 EP5s were rebuilt. Things were so bad that before the rebuilds, which were done by the trustees' management, there were only three in service. By 1969, four units had already been scrapped. Oh, but wait, things get much worse, because in 1969, the New Haven was merged into everyone's favorite railroad, Penn Central. 50 years of great railroading, the Penn Central! Penn Central, baby! You can count on us! Penn Central! Yeah, there we go, yeah! Anyways, by the time the New Haven merged into Penn Central in 1969, there were only six units still in service. They were renamed the E-40 class and put into regular New York area commuter service. In May 1973, Unit 4971 caught fire in the Park Avenue Tunnel, leading to the MTA banning them from service. They were offered to Amtrak, who turned them down in favor of newer electric power. They were put in storage. But two units, 4973 and 4977, were stripped of their steam generators, one panograph, and their third rail electric shoes and put in a regular freight service with Penn Central, even being paid into Penn Central colors. Then came Conrail. Due to their lack of usability, the two units, 4973 and 4977, were both sidelined with the rest of the EP5s. All six remaining EP5s were scrapped by 1979 sadly leaving no survivors. Thanks for watching this video. My last documentary did pretty well, so I'm going to try and make these weekly. If you enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.